Can't wait to wake up in the morning Can't wait to feel the sunshine rays I can't wait for a better day We don't display death and morning Can't wait to feel the sun again Test, 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 test. Excuse me, Chef. Okay, give you a friend. And then look out this way. Don't buy that, up like there. <laughs> Actually, Max, in that doorway, that's it. And then both hands in your pockets now. Uh, I love that, hold that there. Yes, 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 yes. Someone in the door? Oh no. Max is going to get changed. Of life, all your troubles. Smile at your funny little ways. The first shoot in portraits, any shoot, I always feel like I'm like starting again. Experience has gone out of the window and I've been doing this for so long. What I do have though, that perhaps I didn't have as much of when I started out, is that I'm confident that I know there'll be a point during any shoot where I fall into my space and uh, and then hopefully we'll get, we'll get some killer shots. But there's always that warming up element. When you're on a shoot, you so want to just hit the ground running with it. It doesn't always work like that. So sometimes what will happen is I'll shoot Max, for example, today. It'll be in, uh, an, out it'll be in an outfit that I really love. And then later on in the day, I'll hit my stride. And I think, oh man, I wish Max was wearing that now. So then we might have to jump back. And uh, which is all fine, it's all, all, all part of the process, really. The trick is, is to slow down. It's difficult at first. On a shoot, at times, I'm, I get into it, my mind's racing. Especially if the aesthetic in the place is gorgeous. Am I gonna do this justice? Am I gonna be able to get the frames that are gonna blow people away? Am I gonna be able to get the frames that I promised myself I'd get? And then I'll get into a shoot and then my mind's racing. And it's not I don't necessarily freeze up. In fact, I go into overdrive. I tend to get click happy and I'm seeing shots, but I can feel it. I'm not quite in that space. So it's kind of almost like we have to go against our conditioning, which is kind of that flight off way of doing things and slow down and then we can begin to see more because like it's fine going into a shoot as well with ideas but for me that the ideas tend to be kind of almost like a brush stroke I don't want anything too rigid because if this is fixed to what I need to get I'm not seeing what's actually there and that's where the juice is whatever you want mate whatever you want you can never come up with a shot planned that the person you're shooting can come up with on their own, literally just by being them. Quite often it happens you'll set a shot up and I've seen it with guys at my workshop and what they'll do, they'll say, oh wow, I'm gonna get a shot there and they'll, they'll bring the model into the, into the composition, they'll shoot it and they're so busy congratulating themselves on the back of the camera what a great shot they got, then, then the model will move into this perfect symmetry and then we miss it. 
So it's about staying alert to that. But like I said, slowing down and the de degree to which you can be present. There he is. That rock star. Waning a little bit. Get a few more shots in the bath. Yes. In the bath, isn't it? Oh, it's hot in here, isn't it? It's like that rad on. And uh, Emma's here now. The Welsh, the Welsh contingency just turned up. Hello, Brad. There he is. Yeah, that's it. I have no idea what's going on in the world because uh, apparently Boris was live at 11 o'clock. And oh, it was, yeah, uh, 11. So for all we know, we, locked down, we, locked we, we could be in here for, like, for <laughs> forever. <laughs> Imagine, right, you're stuck in here with me can't and him for six months. Race. Stomach came. 